What's up, you guys? Pitbull Torres, week 12 with the homie Mookie. What was last week, Mookie? What you weighing at? 361.5. 361.5. We're going to see what you weigh today, baby. Hell yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. Come on. Man, I think he's at 350, hopefully. 355, maybe we'll see. Make sure you turn it on before you hop on. Seven pounds, baby. That's my magical number, man. I've been hitting that seven pounds every week. That's consistency right there. So if you follow the diet, it should stay routine. You should see about the same weight every week. But if you're treating yourself like that one week, I wasn't consistent. I lost three pounds. So it just shows, like, got to follow the routine. Hell yeah, man. Proud of you, Mookie. Seven pounds, bro. Let's do it, baby. 350 soon. That's gonna be my senior year weight. I'm gonna be back to what I was at high school. So man, let's, once he's at three, we're five. No, four pounds away from 100 pounds lost. So next week for sure is gonna be week 13, 100 pounds lost. So stay tuned. But today I want to tell you guys we're gonna do a little something different. We're gonna take you back home and just show a full day of Mookie's eating. Yep. All right, let's go. All right, just pulled up to Mookie's house. After Wayne's, let's get this little wake up. What up, Mookie? Guys? How you guys doing? Welcome to my crib. See, I'm about to say, I feel like I'm in MTV Cribs right now. Yup. I haven't been here. Oh, the love sack, bro. That, that used to get all the girls in the love sack in Ooh. high school. The parties in here. Shh, can't be telling all the secrets, <laughs> but... Got the bananas. Yup. Alright, so this is my kitchen. My mom cooks, so I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. What are we going to make first, Mookie? We're going to do breakfast, because, uh... Like I've been telling you guys about my intermittent fasting, um, I'll do 20 hour fast about four times a week. And then the other three days I do 16, eight. Um, doing the 20 hour fast, it is difficult, um, but it really does make a big difference on how you feel, how you got a lot more energy when you're doing that. It really does help. So try it out. If you can only do it once a week, it, trust me, that's like really good at first. At first, I was only doing it maybe once, twice a week max. I had to build it up to the point where I could uh, do it more. But right now, it's um, 4 o'clock. So right on my 20th hour, I love opening up with the eggs and the omelet. That's my favorite. It's easy to make. It's quick. And then right after that, after a few hours, I'll have some type of chicken with a carb because I'll work out at night and that helps me with my workout. But I'll really like, I just like to minimize my carbs. And when I do this 16, eight days are the days that I'll actually not have any carbs. So three days I won't have carbs. The four days when I do the 20 hour fast, I will have carbs, but make sure when you open your fast to not eat carbs. It's, it's kind of difficult because you're really hungry. And the first thing you want to do is like eat a bunch of rice and eat a bunch of potatoes and stuff that you know is gonna fill you up. But it's honestly, you gotta have protein and that's like what I've noticed is the best. And then after an hour or so, you can like have some other stuff. Like I'll have some blueberries, like I'll have a banana, have something that like will kind of like um, refresh me in a way, like make me feel like a little more fresh than just having eggs. So right now we're gonna go and we're gonna make the eggs. So let's get it. You got two fridges in here? Yep. Keep the egg whites and the eggs in the garage fridge. It's just uh, two eggs. And egg whites. Egg oh, whites. And then we got the spinach. Gotta get some flavor in these eggs. So, to 
use two eggs and then some egg white? Yep, so I'll go two eggs. Are you measuring your egg whites or just kind of like, you already know like how much kind of... I've done this so many egg times egg. already that I know um, half of this thing is about a cup. So I'll do about half. And I, I use this bowl, so I always know when it's about there. It's um about what I eat every time. So you're probably eating like what do you think half a cup of egg whites? Yeah, about half a cup of egg whites. And then um So I have stuff pre cut. There's some I love cilantro. Man, I should put that in my eggs. I've never thought about it. I love cilantro too. It makes it feel like fresh, huh? Yeah, very fresh. What else you got in there? Uh, oh, that looks Tomato. Oh, that smells good. Onion. Yep, don't worry, guys. I washed my hands before this. <laughs> and this is my own damn food. I'm eating this. So, I like, see, I, I have this cut up from like, this wasn't even that for, I didn't, we didn't even realize we were going to do a full, full day, day of eating. eating yeah. This is legit, like, how, he preps how I have my stuff, like, already ready. Same with me. And it, it makes, makes it, it easier and faster. Yeah. Like, you don't have to worry about, oh, cutting in, I'm tired. Especially, like I said, you know, you're 20 hours fasting. fasting yeah. that's, the, that's the last thing you want to do. So, I'll just so mix make, this. like, a little omelet, almost? Pretty much, yeah. Egg white omelet. Now I have to show you guys the secret. Make it taste good. All the veggies definitely help it with flavor and everything. Yeah, like, 100%. The days I don't have the veggies, man, it's I can't even eat this much. It's, it's terrible. But I do two more things. This is just a chili powder, man. Just All it is is just spice. I know uh, I love spice, and this <laughs> will definitely add that. Damn, it smells spicy. Yep. And this uh, ground Himalayan pink salt. Hey, buddy. I'll buy my own pink salt container. I just went through my whole thing of pink salt that size. It took me almost like two years. <laughs> I think it was only seven dollars. Yeah, seriously. And it, man, I like it so much better than iodized salt. It, yeah, it tastes better and it's better for your body. People think salt is bad, sodium, but you actually need it to absorb all the water. Water is a natural diuretic, so if you just keep on drinking water and you're not having any type of good sodium, you're just gonna absorb all of it. olive oil when I cook my eggs just a little bit let the pan heat up a little bit clean up while you're cooking man you don't want to deal with all this stuff afterwards the biggest thing that's helped me is organization I have everything ready and it makes the process way simpler it's not as hectic like not knowing what I'm gonna do and um, yeah it, obviously it gets boring but the thing is, like, that's just kind of what this the name of the game is. And when it does get boring, I'll treat myself. I'll have, I'll have a steak with some veggies and something that's uh, healthy. So you can still eat, like, good. But 
just know like 98% of the time you're gonna have to eat pretty basic. So I'll just put the spinach down first and let it kind of like saute and shrink. you ladies out there I'll cook for you <laughs> I got you that's it but for real like the biggest thing is about dieting I've learned is you got to learn to cook for yourself it is hectic and um, it causes dishes and it's annoying going to the grocery store and there's every excuse why not to do it but find that the reason why you do it because other people aren't and it's so much easier just to eat um, fast food and eat something that's unhealthy for you that's cost especially like the people <laughs> I know everyone's trying to save money too like just the whole money aspect it's it, you save so oh my gosh man I can't even tell you <laughs> I know I've been super busy buying food man that shit hurts your pockets and you just don't get the same nutrients Make a little omelet or what? Yeah, I mean, I'm not like, I'll try to make it into an omelet. <laughs> it tastes better, but this shit breaks up. And like, however, you know, Pitt added some different stuff. I add some different stuff into this. We like, all like different things. Yeah, exactly. like, find what you like. In the beginning, I was like, when we first started this journey, Pitt, like, the thing that he really disciplined me with was eating healthy cooking your own food we really started with the basics and then as time went on i kind of just found what worked and what i liked you know mm -hmm. like not everything i'm gonna do is gonna work for you guys and what pit's gonna do is gonna work for you guys so you're gonna have to do experiment and like that's why like i i see what i what works for me what doesn't work for me and you go from there but just know like <laughs> just know like eating at home is gonna be key like there's no no way around it don't try to be like oh i'm eating um the outside or yeah something. like that's just flame broiler all the other places that claim that they're so healthy don't get me wrong it's it's better than you know going to like somewhere like a restaurant or something where it's not ha have like white meat chicken or like mcdonald's or something yeah but obviously nothing i remember telling Luke, nothing like is better than going to the store buying the food and making it at home because you know what you put in it. Yep. And that's what Mookie's learned. And honestly, this is probably like a dollar omelet, if that. Yeah. And I'm gonna like, I went to Costco and got the egg whites and got everything uh, for super cheap in bulk. It lasts me a long time. I don't have to um, like worry about. Oh man. Uh, man, you go to like a breakfast spot, like. Yeah. Eggs, like two pieces of eggs and toast and some bread is like $12, though. Yeah, it's crazy. You can get this whole meal for like five days for $12. I'm really picky about not having my eggs runny. So like, I'll feel like I'm brown. Yeah. He's opposite of me. I, I don't like them. When my eggs are brown like that, I'm, I'm mad. Perfect for me right here. I'm gonna shut that off. Mom, just making me hungry. I need to eat after I worked out. I need to eat. Yeah, we gotta make pit some eggs after this. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is pretty much how I open my fast. Um, 
However, what works best for you, you could do your 20 hours. Um, after opening it up with something really simple, some protein, avoid carbs, avoid sugars. Um, if you're gonna have to eat that, eat that after you eat something basic, like give your body, um, it's a, you haven't ate for 20 hours, your body needs something simple to process and that's like, you don't wanna uh, put too much into it. So yeah, pretty much that's my first meal and we're gonna get back with you guys with lunch. It is. We're on meal number two, guys. It's gonna be um, some chicken. We got some rice in the microwave. Just what you um, season that with? It's a chicken tikka seasoning, and then I use some low-fat yogurt, just a little bit, to have it stick, like literally barely any, and it's like for my entire seasoning for the week. Nice. But I'll do this on Monday, and it'll last me pretty much till like. Wednesday or Thursday and I like to like do it a little more often to keep it fresh and then in the microwave We got the microwavable rice Yup, I get this at Trader Joe's. It's like three bucks for three bags of rice. This has three cups of rice So that's like two meals for Mookie. That's maybe like one meal for me. Yeah, probably even more for me honestly <laughs> Yeah, you don't eat that and much And then rice. I also have a, I also get this boss with tea rice I'll make a little bit of that and um that's that good me. rice right there yeah and that lasts me a long time guys like honestly rice i barely is cheap bro mm. I'm having some of we're gonna get the rice yeah, let's going get the rice cooking just three minutes flat it'll be ready that's why i stick with the microwavable rice i tell mookie about it because man sometimes we're just in a hurry we need we need to get a meal down within 10 15 minutes and then go hit the gym or you know get some work done so it's always nice to have that fast microwavable rice. And also this chicken sometimes. So like right now, if I was going to uh, take this to work or take this out, I would almost take it off a little bit early. Like it's still going to be cooked, but just a slightly early. So that way uh, when I reheat it in the microwave, it's not like as dry and it stays really moist. Mm -hmm. and that's what I've noticed with this chicken because of the seasoning, the little bit of the light yogurt you can use greek yogurt light greek yogurt there's different options like i'm telling you, you barely need any just it's more just so the seasoning can stick like this what's the biggest thing you feel like you learn on on this journey man it's been 12 weeks and you've lost not what man today's been what 90 91 pounds so far you've lost um no man, it's 94, a 95, 96. 96, man. I'm four pounds away from the hundred mark, and how do you feel, bro? Like for real? Seriously, guys, you know I know a lot of you guys hit me up and you'll ask me questions on, oh, how do you do it? What what's your routine? And it's just about consistency and finding a way to change your life to fit your fitness. So before I would always try to put fitness into my into my routine but I wouldn't really make that like dedication to it like I would still oh, okay it's Sunday football I'm gonna watch football instead or I'm gonna go do this instead or my uh, friends are eating out so I'm gonna go eat out or my family's eating out so I'm gonna go eat out you're gonna have to learn that it's gonna take sacrifice and that's the biggest thing I've learned to sacrifice yeah, and, yeah. Um, that's what all, uh, all it really takes man it's, and you'll notice that It'll be really hard the first month. The second month will be a little bit easier. Third month, man, it gets a little bit easier. And it just keeps getting easier. You fall more and more into a routine to the point where the other day, Pitt was even going out to eat. And I was like, oh, man, I got to open up my fast. Like, yep. even when we're going to go eat. eat. And he was like, bro, I got to go home and eat my food, man. That's like, it's just, it's like a whole, it's a, it, like you said, you got to sacrifice. That's like the best thing I heard you say, me because it's so true, bro. Like, you got to sacrifice. You got to think you're 26 years old. You've been eating almost whatever you want, not having that many sacrifices uh, towards working out. You know what I'm saying? So yep. it's just you sacrificing, not eating what you want all the time, not eating for pure enjoyment and taste. Look what that sacrifice got you. It got you to lose 96 pounds off pure sacrifice. Yeah, and like, honestly, you know, this is still really tasty. Yeah, it still tastes not like you're, you're going to find dying. Some. Yeah, it's not like I'm... Uh, struggling. Here's the rice. There we go. Careful, I'm gonna pop. Oh, let that cool off a little bit. Almost ready? Yep. I'm sure. So this is meal two normally, right? You just eat another meal, kind of just 
high protein, low fat, and maybe just a little bit of carbs because your first meal, you, yeah, you had, um, you had like you said, you open your fast with no carbs. That's the biggest thing about opening your fast, having no carbs. But like you said, you don't even the protein fills you up, so you barely even need carbs. Straight up, that's all. That, that's all it really is. You know, you could eat, and if, if you're gonna um, add food anywhere, add it with protein. Don't add it with carbs that's because best, yep. it'll be. What's up, guys? Uh, we're gonna do a salad next. It's gonna be really simple, but I'm just gonna show you what I do. Start with some cucumber. Man, I saw Mookie eating those raw. Like yeah. Flying off it like it was a pickle or something. I get the like salad that's... kicks. It's a Caesar Supreme. It comes with all this stuff. I don't really use it to be honest. Yeah, like those that shit just like. And cheese. I just do it for the salad and it's really fresh. Add a little bit of that. Second one is like sweet kale vegetable salad kit. Another one. See, I know people are like, oh man, like you do all, like you get so many different ones, but it's cause like, I, I just, I don't know. I like my salads like with everything in it personally. Shredded carrots. Oh man, this is right here. Cherry tomatoes. Costco. Don't get this from Ralph's. You'll get like barely any and it's gonna be the same price. Put some of those on top. <clears throat> Finish it off with some cilantro. Man, you need, like met with the cilantro, honey. Man, I'm crazy about my cilantro. Spinach. That's a Guys, good salad right here. I don't like salad. if you have fiber issues, <laughs> I do it all the time. It's not the best, but it's, I've honestly gotten used to it, so it's not even that bad. What Last but not least, what is that? This is just like, I don't even know, it's like pumpkin seeds, raisins, um, some other stuff. Like, we just found this out. I'm telling you, it's just like, you gotta figure out what works for you. All I do is I put like a scoop. It's barely any, but it adds a lot of flavor. They're like pumpkin seeds. Looks like sunflower seeds too. Yeah, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, I'll finish it off, guys, because yeah, sometimes when I'm really like over it and I can't eat just a plain salad with lemon, I'll put some dressing, to be honest with you guys. Like I'll put a little bit and it adds a lot of flavor. But for the most part, I just stick with the lemon. And also, I, the video before, the like little bit ago, you saw the chicken that we made. So I'll put that chicken on top of this salad. And there's a lot of juice from that that falls onto it. And it kind of acts like it's a, a dressing. So I'll do that too. So, yep. So lemon's your alternative for a, a dressing pretty much. Yep. There Definitely. You and like you said, if you guys don't can't stand the lemon and you need to put some type of seasoning... It's fine. Just put a little bit. Look at how much they give you in this thing, man. This is a lot. Yeah. You can use just a little quarter of it, and it'll make a huge difference. But Boogie's already trained himself. I remember he used to put this on, you know, a little bit, not the whole packet, and he was still losing weight. But now, like you said, this is getting easier for him. And what is that? Hey, just so you guys can literally see the difference. 490 calories with the cheese, the croutons, and the dressing. So... Right there, it's like such a big difference. Like if you look at the carbohydrates, 20 grams of carbs. So people will buy these salad kits and think they're eating That's healthy. 20 grams of carbs with this stuff? Yeah. And then without it, it says zero? Yeah. So it's literally just a salad, obviously, without this stuff. So that's like the discipline that you get. Sometimes people will get salads and think they're super healthy, but they're like dousing it in ranch. They're getting fried chicken on top. And... um they're getting like all sorts of croutons and all sorts of other carbohydrates in a salad it kind of defeats the whole purpose so if you're gonna eat a salad make sure to be disciplined you could still add all the good veggies I'll put I'll even put other like broccoli asparagus all sorts of stuff but make sure that it's simple it's still good amount of ca uh, low calorie you don't want to it's pointless eating a salad if it's gonna be fattening you might as well go and eat some carbohydrates some white rice that's gonna be better than you better for you than like eating this stuff right here man this stuff is just junk but yep that's it there it is
Last but not least, I just want to show you guys some of the snacks that I eat. If you guys aren't full from a meal and you feel like you need to have something, I either do like almonds or walnuts, but make sure these are still like they have their high in fat, you know? So you can't have too many of these and I'll try to do it before a workout and I'll also do before a workout some blueberries or strawberries. These are both great. You freeze these, right? These are not just Yeah, these are ones. Both of these are frozen. It's kind of like my ice cream late at night sometimes man i'll have just like a little bit of strawberries a little bit of uh, blueberries like this is essential for me also the watermelon i have uh different types of fruit too whether it be apples oranges everything i i eat all types of fruit but you gotta still make sure with fruit man it still has carbs it's still not um it's not sugar you gotta make sure to portion it out not have too much and it's okay it's a lot better than having candy and other stuff so yeah, and also I want you guys to remember that the intermittent fasting is just a regimen. So everything that we showed you today is just some of the food I eat. I eat a lot more than this. I have a lot more snacks. I have a lot more uh, meals throughout the day. I'm around like two to 2,000 to 2,300 calories per day. Make sure that you're not starving yourself. You're not eat, eating too little. It's like you got to still care about your body. That's what the whole thing we've been doing in this journey. It's I never feel pressure that, oh, I can't eat. I can't do something. I've just been disciplined with what I'm eating. And I keep it simple. Like everything you've seen today, it's that's what I eat. Also, there's tur I have ground turkey. I have lean ground beef. I'll make stuff in peppers. I'll make stuff in uh, Kung Pao style with no rice. I still eat a little bit of rice. I'll make baked potatoes, sweet potatoes. So try everything out. See what works for you, what your body likes, and I hope this video helps you guys. I, I want, I love hearing everyone's story, and it motivates me when you guys tell me how you guys are getting on your journey, and it motivates Pitt, and we love what you guys are doing and how people are changing their lives, man. And we want to keep giving you guys content that's going to be helpful and useful. Let us know in the comments what you want us to do, what other content you want us to do. We're going to give you kind of some more of our daily eating stuff as well. Show you some different type of stuff as well. Dope, man. So, you got the strawberries, blueberries, walnuts, and almonds. Those are your snacks, right? And obviously, the fruit. Yep. You said you have other types of fruit too, but just kind of figure out what works for you. Hell yeah. Good job. All right, guys. Just wrapped up a full day of eating with Mookie. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and drop a comment below on what you guys want to see more of. And Mookie's got a little announcement for you guys. I just opened my own YouTube channel. I'm going to post a little bit more stuff on what I do daily and give you guys some more tips. So please go follow me at Mookie Yes. Yes, sir. Make sure you go subscribe and turn on that post notification. And we'll see you guys next week for Mookie Monday. Love all you guys. Hell yeah.